Hey everybody, it's Emily and welcome back to my channel. I want to start off by saying I'm sorry that this video is up a little late. I recently redid like all of my character sticker organization and I wanted to get that, you know, done for the most part before doing like a spread. And I actually am not finished with it, but I ran out of paper, so I have to wait for that. But I did do like the most important, you know, quotations, important stickers. So I was able to do this. Um, so yeah. Also, if you guys haven't seen the pre-plan for this spread, that was a collab with Plansy Plansly on YouTube or Jittery Planner on Instagram or Ansley in real life. So make sure you guys go check that out. We answered some Christmas questions. Wow, I can't I can't speak today. Um, and it was really, really cute, and her video turned out so well, so make sure you guys go check that out. Um, but yeah, I'm doing the day-by-day -day for this, and I feel like it turned out so cute. I really, really love it. So, um, I also have my nails set in this video, and, uh, I think I also filmed this, like, right after I got my tattoo on my arm, so if my arm's, like, a little weird, that's probably why. Like, if I'm, like, moving it weird. I honestly can't remember if that was, I think I did this last night. I'm not sure. Um, so, okay, cool. Just backed up my phone. Uh, <laughs> okay, what was I going to say? Oh, my nails are done. And also, yeah, I had to move that because I use these, like, real glitter headers. And stickers don't really stick on those really well. But, yeah, I love how this spread turned out. It turned out so cute. And I'm just really excited to share this with you guys. So, on Monday... I had a rough morning. I had quite a few of those, and I was going to wait because I ordered some scripts from Planet Hannah that would be, like, perfect for this, but I wanted to get it filled out, and also I know that, like, rough mornings are, like, inevitable, and I'm going to have more of them because I'm somebody who has really bad nightmares, and um, those kind of, you know, can ruin mornings sometimes. So I used this Fox and Cactus Grumpy Cat for that, and then I was really in my head from my nightmares. Um, so I use a Letters to Apollo script and a Once More Love sticker. I did run favors. I ran favors every day except on Wednesday, but I did not mark it every day. Um, but to mark running favors, I used the Crafts by Towie car and a run favors script from Planet Hannah. I also got boba this day. Um, I didn't get boba, like, too, too much. I feel like I got it three times this week, um, and I am trying not to, like, get it really anymore. But I used a Kenzie's Creation script. Oh, you guys can see my tattoo there. It's so cute. Um, and a Once More Love Boba sticker. And then I marked FaceTiming my love. I loved him so much. I miss him. It's currently Christmas while I'm filming this voiceover, and... I am trying to stay busy because I really miss him, and I know I could just, like, go to sleep, but, um, I can't stay asleep for that long, like, until I have a nightmare, I don't know if that makes sense, I don't know if that's, like, wording is correct or any of that, but I, I can't sleep too much because then I'll get more nightmares, so, trying to stay up and stay productive and get some videos done for you guys, so, to mark FaceTiming him, I use this Munchkin couple from Once More Love and a FaceTime Tom script. And I did fill this out. Um, there wasn't too much that I had to fill out in the spread, thankfully, but um, yeah. And then I had some Victoria's Secret Happy Mail. I had some underwear. I like to order from them when they do their, I think it's 7 for 30 or something like that. Um, so I did that, although, like, their selection wasn't, like, as good as normal, which was kind of, can I say sus? Can I say that it was kind of sus? I don't know. Um, but the little underwear from the Coffee Monsters Co., I had a Taco Bell, which both of those stickers are from Sugar Box stickers, and then I did start Tom's third box, which was supposed to be his Valentine's Day box, but I have to mail it out. I'm actually mailing it out on the Monday after Christmas because I have to mail it out before the end of the year and there's like no Valentine's Day stuff out yet so yep then on Tuesday the first thing that I marked was that I was feeling cute and I used this fox and pip girl I just like cut, cut off her legs 
and um, wrote that I was feeling cute. I ran favors, and then it was also Cave of Suck on Creation's birthday this day, so I wanted to mark that with a fox and cactus sticker. Sorry. Um, I feel like I love being able to like plan this by myself, you know, and not have to talk while doing it, but also like doing the voiceover. I feel like I catch up with myself so much, like so quick. And also like, I don't know, I feel like my brain is just kind of dead right now. So, and I feel like that's quite frequent, especially because I do these voiceovers late at night because that's when I have free time for the most part. Um, and yeah, I'm really warm right now too. I'm just like going on this weird tangent. Um, the one thing I'll say about this kit is that I did have to pull in quite a few labels. Um, and that's just because I didn't have scripts for everything. Um, so this is definitely a kit that I'll need to make sure, like a kit format that I'll need to make sure that I have a lot of, um, colors that like match it so that way I can pull in extras. So I'm also fighting off yawns. I did FaceTime Tom two times this day, which was really nice. Um, sometimes when I'm having like bad days, uh, he's able to like call me a little bit more, but then that kind of like bit us in the butt because he like is basically out of data. Um, and so we weren't able to call like super long on Christmas Eve and we were able to call like a little bit and we did call two separate times for like a little bit each time. So we just, I need to be more careful about when I ask to call him or I don't know, I mean, cause it goes both ways too. Um, but we, I guess we ended up FaceTiming more this past month because we went through the data quicker. Um, because he does not have like unlimited data where he's at and there's not like Wi-Fi that's readily available. So yeah, um, but we did FaceTime. I used this once more with Love Sticker. I had Boba again and then we FaceTimed again. Um, and the FaceTime Tom scripts are from Planet Hannah as well. I'm not sure if I said that before. And then I did do some interview prep, which um, I used a Fox and Cactus sticker and I was feeling really good and you guys will see like I, I had two interviews on Wednesday. They were both Zoom interviews. It was my first time doing that and the first one went really, really well. The second one went really well and then I ended up getting an email um, saying that I didn't get the job. I got that on Thursday. Yeah, on Thursday, which, you know, such is life. It wasn't meant to be. So I am still on the hunt for a job but you know what it's fine we are a-okay it just wasn't meant to be um so I'm putting in a little extender box here because I had quite a few things that I wanted to mark and I actually ended up like not putting I was like normally I would put over like a foil like underlay box like on top of the extender but because I used the specialty foil, I didn't want to do that. I mean, I could have with silver, but I just ended up using it as is, and that was really nice. So on Wednesday, I marked my first interview. I used these Once More With Love like Zoom stickers, which was the first time that I used those. And then I used this washi strip to mark that I was having a good day. I was feeling really good. I, you know, did a really good job on this interview. I was able to talk to Tom, and, um, oh, my arm is hurting right now, and I, like, had this dress on for the interview, I mean, they can only see, like, from, you know, sh like, shoulders up or whatever, but I wanted to look good, I just felt really good, um, so I used this once more with Love Sticker for that, and then I did some editing, and YouTube stuff, so I marked that with a Sticky Essentials icon, which I put directly on the bougie kind of box, and I really like how that looks because the green and the silver are mixing, and I just love it. It's so cute. And I use an edit script from Kinsey's Creations, and then I have a lot of couple stickers that are doing stuff that obviously Tom and I can't do right now, like watching TV or cuddling, which ugh, those are like two of our favorite things, but I wanted to still use these stickers so 
Um, I marked that I called Tom for a little bit to tell him about my interview um, and let him know that like, hey, like, you know, I have to take, because I had to take my mom to work. So I was going to call him after I got back. But then I ended up having a second interview scheduled for when I got back. So we called after that. So yeah, just to keep, you know, open communication. And I was just really excited. And, you know, he's my person. So whenever something really exciting happens, I want to tell him first. So sorry, I have like the biggest smile on my face. Um, so to mark taking my mom to work, I used this Crafts by Towie sticker. I had my second interview, which I marked with the Once More Love sticker. And then on top of the um, like sender box, I used a Once More Love sticker and a FaceTime Tom script. And I just love that little skull with the Christmas head. It's so cute. Um, and then underneath on the extender, I used a Happy Daya smoothie to mark that I got Choose Land for my little brother and I. And then I did wash my hair that day. I think I might have washed it in the morning, though. I'm not sure. But the wash hair script is from Letters to Apollo, and then I used an Olive & Co. sticker. I went for a nice walk, which was really good because the weather was really, like, nice and cool outside. Um, and I used a walk script from Letters to Apollo. And then I had to stop by HEB. I did that um, while I was waiting to pick up my mom from work. And I used this Fox & Cactus sticker. Wow, that was a really big yawn. I'm sorry. <laughs> I had a grocery run script from Station Stickers. Um, I also did like a couple other things that day, but I just didn't want to like mark it in. I was looking for Jim Beam eggnog because if you guys watched the first part of this video, um, one of the questions that we answered was if you liked eggnog and I'd never had it before. And I was talking to Tom about it and he said, oh, like the Jim Beam one is really good. They normally have it at like, you know, like, uh, like liquor stores. So I went to Total Wine and they had a ton of options, but they didn't have that one. So I asked somebody about it and they thought they had it, but they didn't have it. Um, so I decided to pick it up at HEB and I didn't like it like whatsoever. It's disgusting. And I told Tom like, Hey babe, like I tried, but I'm not going to try again <laughs> until you're home because you know that you like this and I don't want to waste more. So yeah, that's how that went. Um, and then Thursday, also my computer is like really, really loud, really pushing it right now. So I'm sorry if you can hear that. Um, but Thursday was two months with Tom, which it feels like we've been dating for so much longer. But I don't know. I just like marking the, the month anniversaries. So I use this really, really, really cute Fox and Cactus sticker. This is probably one of my favorite couple stickers like ever. It's so adorable. Um, and then I had another rough morning, so I worked that with a Fox and Cactus Grumpy Girl, which she's so cute. And then Tom got his second box, which is so sweet. Um, so I got to watch him open that on FaceTime. Like, I took a break from Favor to watch him open it, and mm, it was so sweet. It was his Christmas box, and he's had his cookies, his brownies. He loves it. He already used his gift card, and I think he said he got, like, four games or something with it, so that makes me very happy. Um, so I used a Fox and Cactus sticker again to mark that, and I just, oh, it definitely cheered me up. And then I got Juice Land. Sorry, still fighting off yawns. I was planning on doing a second voiceover tonight, too, but if I can't stop yawning, I don't know how that's going to happen. Um, so I used another Happy Day sticker for that. And then I marked FaceTiming Tom. I got to use one of the little scallop stickers. There were quite a few like layering ones that I wanted to use, but I feel like um, whenever I put my sticker on top of it, it wouldn't show through. So uh, this one though, this one really worked out. And it looks so cute. Mm. And then I had a Culver's, which Culver's has my favorite chili cheese fries. Like, oh, they're so good. I don't know what it is about them. They're so, just so amazing. And they also have cheese curds there. So I picked up Culver's for myself and also for my little brother. He got some like wings or something there. And I used a Kenzie's Creation script and this little like fork, spoon, and knife sticker from Sticky Essentials. And then I marked with a Heartbreak Munchkin. 
that I did not get the job, which, like, my heart wasn't, like, you know, broken over it. I was just kind of, like, a little confused. It's always, like, hard because I feel like the you didn't get the job emails are so generic and they've got to have, like, a template for it because, like, I kind of want to know, like, it was it because I wasn't qualified enough? I mean, because this was for, like, a sales position where you had, like, commission and stuff, and I'd never had a job like that before where I've, like, worked for commission. So, like, I feel like that's what it was, but I don't know. It's just, and then it's another form of, like, rejection, and it, you know, it had benefits. It paid really well. Like, it really was what I thought was going to be, like, a dream come true. So, maybe I am, like, a little upset about it, but I'm definitely not heartbroken over it, so... I know that it just means it wasn't meant to be, and I still have support from, you know, my family and my friends and my amazing boyfriend, so I am going to be okay. Moving on to Friday after that, you know, a little spiel. Um, Friday had another rough morning. Love that for us. So, use another grumpy cat. It's like a grumpy Christmas cat. And I think I was looking for labels at this time because I was, it was kind of hard to pull in labels for, for this, um, color scheme, but I feel like it ended up working out. So, um, after that I did FaceTime Tom again for a little bit. Um, I also like, I, I was like expecting my period and that's like kind of TMI, but I was expecting it around this time and it like hadn't come and that's why I thought I was like a little bit more emotional but also like my nightmares they've been they've been really bad so um but he's like he deals with me so well I want to say deal like he is able to like I don't know I don't know how to phrase it but he's just so amazing and I love him so much so we called for a little bit um I ran favors and I did mm, did I do 19 this night Or maybe it was 21. I think it was 21 on Friday, 19 on Saturday, and 20 on Sunday. Um, So I ran favors. I had a Starbucks. This is my first day, I think, getting the... It's a coffee frappuccino with soy milk, and sometimes I get caramel on it. And that's my friend Alex, um, one of her, like, favorite drinks. And she recommended that, so I've been doing that. And then I FaceTimed Tom again for a little bit, which is really nice. I was in such an amazing mood after this call. Like, ugh. like I feel like, oh my god, I'm going to cry. Um, he's just, he's so amazing. And he, like, I feel like <laughs> the amount of time that it takes for him to, like, cheer me up is so small. Like, compared to you know, other coping mechanisms, which, you know, obviously I shouldn't just rely on that. I do have other coping mechanisms, but I just love talking to him and that cheers me up so much and I'm just so in love. And yeah, so I was in a really amazing mood. I got some boba and then I learned that I got a hundred dollar tip. Like this person was texting. I mean, I'm very like, you know, I talk to my customers and ask them, you know, if they need anything else, like, keep them updated on their order, especially, like, on the busier nights where it's taking longer, um, and this person was saying, you know, that they really appreciate what I'm doing, they're, you know, compromised, and so they can't go out, and they want to still have date nights and stuff with their wife, and I just, like, I was not expecting it at all, and when I got it, I literally cried. I feel like, I love the fact that people are so generous during the holiday season because it really helps out and uh, it's just so so sweet. So I wanted to mark that. Then on a Saturday, I was like super in my head um, because I, you know, I'm really cool like that. I had an amazing day. I was like super duper feeling good and then wake up from a really bad nightmare crying and yeah, so... Used a once more with love sticker and then my head script from Letters to Apollo. Then I layered with this mini Riot Co. like little antler reindeer thing. I put this bad day over it. <laughs> and then um, I had a pet snail for a little bit. Um, I'm not going to say too much about it, but um, scary. 
his name was Gary, but I named him Scary after that because I thought Gary was too basic. Um, he was really great, and I used this Monsters, Inc. sticker because it was like the closest thing that I could find to a snail because for some reason there's no Spongebob stickers, which is so weird. Um, I had Starbucks, I FaceTimed Tom, and then whenever I got home, I or started organizing my stickers, and also the, um, the sticker I use with the FaceTime Tom is from Coffee Monsters Co. And then, um, this actually happened before, like, Tom went to bed, so before I started organizing stickers, he sent me, like, the, a really, really cute message, so I had to use this little sexy Grinch for that. Um, like I've said before, like, he sends me cute messages every day, in the morning and at night, and then, you know, throughout the day, but sometimes they're just, like, extra, extra, and I just want to put it in my planner because he deserves that, and I love these stickers for that. And then, sorry, I'm getting a little, a little sniffly over here because I was getting a little emotional. Um, so on Sunday, I woke up, and I was in such an amazing mood, um, so I marked that with a happy today sticker from What's More With Love. Um, if there's a, there's a couple sections of my character stickers that I feel like I'm lacking on and happy and positive stickers are definitely one of those, but through doing the sticker organizing, I do see though that I still have a lot. I just don't have as many as other sections, which I think is okay, um, because I still have a lot, <laughs> so... Um, I feel like I shouldn't compare, like, how many happy stickers I have to how many sad stickers I have because, you know, it's fine. <laughs> it's really fine. Um, so I marked that I was feeling happy. Um, I actually ended up breaking my fast at, is it 8.30 or 10.30? I don't know. I knew that I broke it early, though. I was just so hungry, so I ended up getting Starbucks, which, you know, isn't the best way to break your fast, but I just, like, needed coffee, and I have not gotten around to just drinking plain coffee, um, so did that, and then I was running favors all day, and then I got home, I did some more organizing of stickers, and, uh, both days I used a Kenzie's Creation script and a Once More Love sticker, I had some Taco Bell, it's really great. Those stickers are from Sugarbox Stickers. And then I marked FaceTiming Tom with this really cute snowman sticker. <laughs> and then I used a fox and cactus little like pixel heart um, as like a layering thing. And I love you from my head to my toes from What's Worth Love. Um, I love those sheets so much and I don't think she makes them anymore. And I'm, you know, I mean I have a couple but I need more. Um, and it's just so cute just to mark that, like, I'm just so in love, and I'm so happy, and just really, really thankful, so, yeah, I'm gonna end the video here, um, and <laughs> thank you guys for dealing with me, um, I hope you guys are all doing well, again, I'm so sorry that this is up late, but better late than never, right, right, right. Okay, thank you guys for watching. I'll see y'all later. Bye.